Most people would overlook the beauty of an anvil. Most wouldn't even notice it if it was right in front of their eyes. And if they did see it, they'd think it was some dirty hunk of junk. But you should see what I see. The creative, artistic, useful, beautiful tool that it is. Forged out of steel to not just exhibit its beauty, but to provide the ability to make and tell the stories with products for generations to come. My affinity for handmade products started when I was much younger. I began collecting and working with blacksmith tools. I loved the opportunity to work with raw materials and see them come to life in my hands. I loved how every product had a story. Even the tools had a story. Some anvils were made hundreds of years ago and have made thousands of products, yet they were still able to tell new stories. Anvil Customs was birthed almost by mistake. I had wanted to try my hand at making my own motorcycle, and it was a complete failure. I got done with my so-called masterpiece, and let's just say it failed to meet my expectations. I immediately began to dismantle it and sell it for parts. I lost money on nearly everything. The key word is nearly. I had made a simple handmade leather pan seat, pulled it online for a profit. And it was that simple action that birthed Anvil Customs as we know it. The very essence of how products were made on an anvil is the same baseline for products made by Anvil today. You don't mass produce items with an anvil. You simply craft the story of each product one by one. You don't give something a lifetime warranty that isn't made to last, that isn't made to stand the tests of time. These products are meticulously examined. Every corner, every edge, every thread. Anvil products are made to not just be enjoyed by one generation, but to be passed down from one generation to the next. We build heritage. I'm proud to make quality handmade, made in the USA leather goods. That's why I choose all American materials and make each anvil product one by one. These are products that tell a story. When someone sees you with an anvil product, they can't help but ask where you got it. And that's when you tell them your story and how you became the proud owner of an anvil product. Whatever the product, whatever the story, it was made by anvil and lives with you for the years to come. My name is Ryan Wasson, but most people call me Anvil.